Thanks for coming to help you guys. The sensors over here on Wayward Island should have a ton of intel about last night's earthquake. You called that an earthquake? It barely knocked over a lawn chair. But the next one could be disastrous. That's why the data is invaluable. It's like geological Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, that's where we found Ira, isn't it? Ira the caveman? That's right. He's out here somewhere. I wonder if he felt the quake last night. He might still use the cave as his shelter. Maybe we should check on him. Uh-oh. Get down! Just an aftershock. Everybody okay? What? <gasps> Unbelievable! Whoa. This is incredible. Um, Graham? Better look at this. I think we should get some help. Cybertronian, all right, but I've never seen one like it. It's ancient, way before our time. Looks like a cargo ship. It appears to have suffered some sort of collision, but with what? There are two bots inside who would know for sure. You know, um, maybe we should come back later. Those guys have been in here forever. What's a few more years? I see why this thing didn't show up on our Energon scanners. Must have been running on fumes. So these Autobots must be the ones I met in prehistoric days. But why would they land, save some cave people from meteors, then go to sleep? An excellent question, Francine. Perhaps their computer can shed some light on the matter. Then again, perhaps not. You know, airplanes have a black box that records everything that happens during a flight. Do Cybertronian ships have anything like that? The ship's primary memory core it should be right around here. It sustained some damage. Maybe Doc can help us recover the data and find out what happened. Or we could just ask these guys. There might be just enough power left. What? Cybertronians? Bots! I'm home! Home! Yes! Whoa. Yes, Whoa. yes, 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 uh, yes! Oh, please don't. Um, what part of Cybertron is this exactly? It's not. You're still on Earth. Have been for a while. About 10,000 years. What? Don't worry. You haven't aged a bit. Salvage! Is he okay? Working on it. I'm Heatwave. This is my team. Blades, Boulder, and Chase. These are our friends, Graham, Cody, and Frankie. They're humans. Don't worry if you can't tell them apart. It takes a while. Humans, huh? Well, at least they got a little less hairy. Name's Blur. Fastest transport pilot in the galaxy and two-time winner of the Cybertronian 500. Oh, I have pictures somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll take your word for it. But why land here? Well, me and Salvage, my loader, we got hit by a mega monstro meteor storm. I mean, big! But, uh, <laughs> I managed to land us in one piece. Then you must be the one who rescued the cave people. And saves Ira. Ira? He wasn't called Ira then. You probably knew him as Grrr, Or maybe just Ugg. Oh, okay, yeah, sounds right. Yeah, that's, that is just how it happened. Good work. You helped a lot of people that day. So 
Salvage! Blur? You made it! You're okay! We're... we're still on Earth? Oh, uh, yeah, um, listen, I, I know things might have looked... What happened? I can't remember anything after the crash. You can't? Your stasis pod was damaged. It might have caused memory loss. So, you don't remember me saving you and the cavemen? <laughs> oh, trust me, I was amazing. Aftershock! Blur, Blades, grab the kids. Everyone out. Now! <laughs> Salvage! Get out! Now! <laughs> My ship. Whoa, you are fast. I just wanted to get out of there. Uh, you know, to, uh, to, to make sure nobody else was in danger out here. You two are born rescue bots. You're gonna love Griffin Rock. Griffin where now? <laughs> this is where Earthlings keep their valuables? That's a recycling bin. People put things in there that they don't want anymore, but that still might be useful. So, anyone could take what's in here and use it. Somebody threw this away? Can I keep it? I kinda tinker with odds and ends. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna like this place. The memory core? Why are you dragging that thing with us? We're hoping to find out exactly what happened to your ship. Guys, incoming transmission. Blur, salvage. Come on, you're gonna wanna hear this. Yeah, coming. I just spoke with Optimus Prime. He's coming from the mainland to meet us at the lab. Really? I'm meeting a Prime? It's quite an occasion. It's not every day we find new bots. It is good to see new faces. Salvage, sir. Name's Blur. Welcome to Earth. We have built a new home here, in partnership with humans. So can you. Love to, really, your primeness, but uh, it's a big galaxy. I got places to go, races to win. I recommend you give Earth a chance, Blur. It has more to offer than you realize. We are required to remain robots in disguise. Humans are not yet ready to accept aliens among them. That's supposed to, uh, get me to stay? At least consider scanning an Earth-friendly form. <sighs> Fine. So we can scan anything in here, and that's our new vehicle mode? That is correct, Salvage. All right! <laughs> I, for one, am starting to get the appeal of this planet. <gasps> that symbol. The same one on the treasure box. The recycle bin. Yeah, this truck collects those items and- I get it. A moving treasure chest. Oh, just think of all the stuff I could fit in there. While cargo room is important, there are other vehicles that would perhaps prove more practical for everyday use. <sighs> Remember, Chase, sometimes the vehicle chooses you. I think you've made an excellent choice, Salvage. Prepare to scan. Ha. It feels perfect. Can I try it out? I love it. Whoever thought I would... I mean, I mean, epic. <coughs> Not funny. I think I swallowed my swash plate. Hey, Hotshot, maybe you better take it down a notch. Hey, Captain, I'm just having a little fun. 
Everyone, gather round. Now that you both have new modes, I have discussed your status with Chief Burns. While your paths are always your own, the Chief and I are offering you the opportunity to stay here and train as Rescue Force recruits. What? An unexpected turn Sir. of events. Great! Whoa. Noble! Sir, I'd be honored. So... I'd get to keep these sweet wheels. All right, Earth! Run for cover! I knew it. Did you hear that? We're being replaced. Retired, sent out to pasture. Blades, I don't think... Next month, we'll be in the old bot's home. Uh-huh. Playing checkers and griping about the food. And we don't even eat. With all due respect, sir, those two aren't exactly rescue bot material. Especially Mr. Speed Demon. Which means they will require expert guidance. That's why I would like you and your team to train them yourselves. Us? Teachers? Seriously? Of course, sir, if those are your orders. Perhaps you can begin by helping them adjust to their new forms and surroundings. I'll take salvage. I know just where to start. <sighs> well, what do you think? Yahoo! <laughs> This goes here, yes. Let's see. <sighs> Can't believe people think this is junk. I'll find a use for all of it. Everything finds its purpose eventually. And Cody, thanks for bringing me here. Sure thing, Salvage. <sighs> what is that? Used to have one just like you. Hey, Roto up. Oh, good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm Chief Burns. This is Cade, Danny, and you've met Graham. Yeah, charmed. So, uh, where's the racetrack? Captain here said I could test my speed against his. A race car against a fire truck? That doesn't seem very fair. Which is why we're not racing on a track. We're racing on an obstacle course. Unless you're not up for it. Up for it? In the words of the great Alpha Trion, one, two, three, go! <laughs> Gotta be faster than that or we'll have to change your name to Stoplight! Yeah. But that was cheating. <laughs> Not if you win. Technically, no regulations forbid subterfuge in a training exercise. But still. <sighs> Rules. You know, those cave people I saved didn't waste time counting how many seatbelts I had. They just jumped in. You didn't have seatbelts back then. Or even a vehicle mode. I was just... It was a joke, okay? Oh, he's a million laughs, isn't he? Nice, huh? I made it out of scrap. Guys, it's Don. His car crashed into a crane at City Hall. Is he all right? I think so, but he's trapped in his car. Let's roll, team. We're coming too. You're not ready. This isn't rocket science. It's one human stuck under a crane. We well, won't get in the way, and it would be great experience. It is against normal protocol for a rescue team to refuse help. Uh, rescue bots and others. Roll to the rescue. Blur, wait. Wait, have you met me?
Well, you don't have to all congratulate me at once. Don't worry, Don. We have you. Hurry, they can't hold that thing forever. Let's get you to Dr. McSwain's. Can you walk? Lesson one through 30 in rescuing. Don't leave the human in danger. Now get this car out of the way. Give about a nanocycle, will ya? Now get over here and help. The guy's safe, the car's out, just let it drop. The crane would then land directly on City Hall. Blur, I said now. All right, all right. We're too low. We need a better angle. More leverage. I have an idea, but I have to let go. Go for it! Cody, turn on that generator. Will do. Graham, give me a hand. because of your recklessness, Blur. I'm gonna be very, very angry. Really? Won't you be busy being crushed? What the? Whoa. He just built a unidirectional dynamic electromagnet out of junk. There's no such thing as junk. Right, Salvage? Well, that's it. I think I'd be saying it, but this rescue goes to you. Gotta agree with Cap on that one. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Done what? Put humans in danger? You were doing that just fine on your own. What were you thinking? You abandoned that driver to save yourself. I, for one, was shocked, and remain so. I don't understand. How could you risk your life saving those cave people? But now... Because that was huge. Those were meteors. Th this is, uh, bad driving. And yeah, I did risk my life, and I got every single one of them off that island, all by myself. Blur, you know that is not the truth. Dr. Green was able to repair your ship's memory core. We discovered some troubling footage. Your ship was damaged in a meteor storm and landed on Wayward Island, as you said. But it was Salvage who decided to save the inhabitants. I remember now. You wanted to stay with the ship, but we couldn't. I couldn't leave those cave people behind. You said you'd help me build a raft to get them off the island, but one person went missing, and you said you'd find him. You promised me, but you didn't come back. I waited, and you didn't come. So I sent them off, went looking for you. Thought you might be in trouble. I found the missing caveman, but you were nowhere around. I gave him an amulet to protect him, and then... This is the security footage from the ship's bridge. Come on, come on! Get me off this rock! Blur, what are you doing? Salvage, uh, you're back. You were leaving without me? Sorry, you were slow and I, I didn't think you'd make it. <sighs> hey, Salvage, buddy, come on. We fought. It scared Ira. He ran off. Then the meteors started hitting the cave. All we could do was go back into stasis and hope for the best. That's what happened. You can't run away from this one. Look, I never said... Well, all right, yes, I did, but... <sighs> you got me, Cap. I know we were never really a team. You did your job, I did mine. But even so... <sighs> Salvage, I'm sorry. Really. Oh, yeah, I believe that. After some careful consideration, 
I believe we should not give up on Blur. But sir, you saw. He ran out on his partner. Those humans. He lied to us. The rogue does not even care about trying to fit in. If he really didn't care, he wouldn't bother lying. Wait, you're defending him? Heatwave, maybe Blur just needs more time. Like Savage says, sooner or later, everything finds its purpose. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I agree, Cody Burns. I have watched too many Cybertronians take the easy path over the right one. I would like to help Blur make the correct choice. And I still believe you are the one to help him, Heatwave. I have faith in both of you. But sir, I don't... I mean... I'll try not to let you down, sir. Looks like you get another chance, Hotshot. Not that I think you deserve it. He'll do great. I know he will. Right, Blur? Glad you think so, Cody. Me too, kid. Thanks. <laughs>